Hi! In this video I'll show you how to work with the plugin settings. So after installation we can press this button, settings, or go to the WooCommerce settings and there press link to the WooCommerce currency switcher settings. So let's enter here. After installation you will see two basic uh, two currencies, which basic one is USD. What does it mean basic? Basic currency Basic currency, the currency in which your product prices is installed. So, for example, we have prices in the euro. Let's select it. As you can see, all the currencies will be recounted. Okay, by drag and drop we can change the position, position of the currency. Next, here we can select any sign we want. Here we can select position. Here decimals. Count of digit after comma. Here for basic currency always should be one. Always for basic currency. For another currency you can set any rates. For example, mm, by hand, by hand, using, using comma. Or use any of the finance aggregators which is uh, coming with the plugin installation let's press the button ok uh, the same effect can be get if to press this radio button a radio button of the currency of the basic currency this shows sense on the front this option is useful when you want, doesn't want to show on your shop or category pages prices uh, with decimals. Here is, is just description. Any any word words you can write here. So here you can select flag all the currency. So let's press it. I already uploaded. Uh, but you can upload it from the computer. Okay, United States. One moment. If this field link URL is empty, or 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 this link is uh, not lead to the PNG, JPG, or any another image. Uh, file, press this button. It's important. Another way you will get um, empty or broken image. File URL. Insert it post. The same let's do with Euro. Okay, let's press save. Make your attention here, please. It's very important to write these uh, currency codes in the right way. Never write here, for example, as I saw some in some customers, United States or another words, blah, blah, blah. Always use currency codes. Way to take them. Just press this button and look all codes for the countries. So just copy this and paste here. Important. Take all currency codes from this link. What to do if you want to add more currencies? Just press this button. Add currency. OK. Let's write Let's create Great Britain Pound. Let's write here JBP. Okay, let's select here its sign. Then select symbol position. I don't remember. Light, left space, right space. In this case, doesn't matter. Here touch nothing here press finance yahoo okay show sense on the front and let's select pound right here pound 
flag. United Kingdom. Save change. And the same way you can add more and more currencies. The same way you can delete it with this button. Okay. Looks like Okay, let's look on the tab options. It's a skins for drop downs on the front of the site. Show flags by default. Better leave this yes, if you want to use images. This flag images. Show money signs. Show or hide these money signs on the front. Better leave to yes. Show price info icon. What does it mean price info icon? Let's enable and look it on the front of the site. So here we can see our prices. And if to hover on this icon, we can see prices in another currencies. So it's a convenient thing for your customers. Is multiplayer allowed? This feature is very important for your shop if you will decide it to if you will decide it allow your customer to pay in their select currency so for example if you have currency euro and here will be no all your customers will be pay in the euro but if you if you set here yes and any customer of your site select for example JBP so uh, so on the checkout he will be paid by GBP oh, one moment I forget to save changes so let's go to the card uh, select JBP for example and let's go to the checkout so as we have here on this is multiplayer allowed yes all your customers can pay in their selected currency so decide yourself you need it or not if not say no there if yes set yes and all customers will be paid in their selected currency. Check payments. Let's place order and look on it. Yes, 73 pounds. Let's go to orders. And we can see the same here. 73 pounds. Okay. It's clear with this option. Then, uh, welcome currency. So you can set um, all your prices for the products in your country currency, but welcome currency set in the USD. So it will will be very convenient thing for you when. Uh, Customers can see uh, prices in your shop in uh, the more clear way for them. For example, your shop working on the market where um, customers understand prices in USD. So each unique customer, when he will enter firstly to your shop, he will see prices for your products in USD. Next, currency aggregator. Select here which aggregator you want to use for to get rates for your currencies. Of course, you can set it by hands, but this option is um, 
very important when you're using read after update. So for for example, you set read after update hourly twice daily daily. So check uh, check sometimes is uh, currency rates of these aggregators V2 or you doesn't like it don't use or select any aggregators select rate out of date and use it curl for aggregators this thing is important sometimes for example when you're pressing this button for aggregator and you get zero 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 or something currency doesn't exist so for some security reasons uh, uh, file get content function doesn't work on your site so just activate this feature press save and try again currency storage better set to transient always because session doesn't work always for not logged in users on your site transient will make fi about five mysql queries to your database it's not so big so better use transient but of course you can test session uh, for all your users log it in log it out and uh, you can use session too use geolocation so let's select what does it mean geolocation it's like welcome currency but more complicated you can decide which currency to show to the users which came to your site from any countries so for example uh, you want to show GBP only to the users from the Great Britain Euro you want to show to the users from the Europe countries and another and you see we will show to the users which came from United States of America let's press save and questions what if uh, user from the Italy for example uh, we, we not set Italy in any currency rulers here so he will see if any country not inserted in these rulers will be work, working this rule welcome currency hi switcher on the checkout page hi or show currency switcher on the checkout page show approximate amount this feature works when only geo ip options if you enable it moment so for example if you set rules in the Geo IP options and the customers came from Europe and then uh, change by switcher currency to USD and if he decided to pay in USD or simply he is on the card page he is, will always see currencies in his country currency let's look at it let's enable it so uh, by geo by geo ip my uh, currency should be euro now let's let's leave jvp or select usd let's go to the card page and look here so we selected united usd and here you can see short information uh, about amount in currency from from the country where I'm just now in years proceed the checkout 
the same. So it's just for information for your users. I'm using cache plugin on my site. A lot of sites using cache plugins for the WooCommerce shop and it's the right way. But in this case, um, as we working with the dyna dynamic, uh, dynamic information, it's not really possible to switch currencies. So in such case, we should enable this option and go to the cache plugin and reset its cache. So let me show you. Let's go to the plugins and we'll enable will enable super cache plugin and it will it'll and I'll show you Okay, I enable it cache plugin. Then let's go back to the currency. And first let's disable it for the test. Okay, let's go here. So now you can see prices in you it's better let's go to another browser where I am not logged in. Okay. So let's check. Uh, let's change currency to the JBP, for example. It's all okay now. Let's go to the any product. It's JBP, but because we enter enter it here for the first time okay now let's change here to the Europe and then remove uh, get data so what we can see doesn't work why because this page is cached already it's cached with all this data JBP all this is cached so if I will enter firstly, uh, for example, here, I'll see Euro, because this page uh, entered it for first time. Okay, let's go here and change to the GBP, and let's enter again Euro. Yes, because this page is already cached, so all your customers will select currency but uh, as they will see cached pages they will see uh, information which was cached by first unique users on this page so what to do in this case we want to show this selected by the user currency okay let's go through the settings options select this option in one moment let's go to the cache and reset it it's very important because this feature will not be working so let's go to the settings web super cache and reset the cache one note doesn't matter what the cache plugin you using I this plugin is just for example just now let's refresh the page and we can see that prices in the GBP yes it's working let's look here yes all redraws custom money size for example you can find any signs here but you need it so you can you can create here any custom signs you want for example i don't know i will write something so you can write here any signs you want to apply uh, use comma 
one moment without spaces. So let it be size. OK, press save. Then you can select for any new currency, for example, um, just let's take any currency or this one, for example, and you found not found uh, its uh, symbol, but you added it in the custom. So let's select it, select symbol ref right, uh, finance here who, yes, show sense, uh, okay. Any description uh, the same. <laughs> Save changes. Let's go to the front. Let's go to the front center and update it. So, what we can see, okay, let's select it. You can see that it works. So, we can see our custom symbol here. Next. Prices without cents. For example, let's hide cents for this. For example, we decided to not show cents at all. Not only on the front. For example, let's select it here, save changes, and you will see what I mean. So, for, let's go here. You can see that there is no cents, but if you will go to the card page, you will see cents back. So, this option is just cosmetic option. This option is really remove all sense from the currency. Save changes. At all, at all uh, shop pages. So you can see there is no sense at all. The same here. So it's all options. What about this tab in four? You can find here any documentation. Or this get free flags images if you need it. Uh, frequency ask it questions. Read it firstly before write something that it doesn't work or ask any questions. You can find a lot of answers here. For example, just press this button, get get hints here, and you find something interesting here. That is all. See you. Bye.